What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm in a weird environment right now. For those of you that have been around for a decent enough time, this is my home garage and uh, today we're gonna get started on a project that I've been really wanting to do for a long time. Here we have a gallon kit of Monster Liner and no, we're not gonna bedline the whole Jeep, but we are going to bedline the roof of the pop-up. So Monster Liner offers a bunch of colors and you can see here that's gonna focus. We got nuclear white or nuclear winter is what that says. Um, and that's gonna be perfect to apply right onto here. So the surface of this roof is already kind of like a textured material, but I think that's actually the aluminum itself, the aluminum sheeting that's on here. And the original white paint that is on here is starting to like kind of just flake off. And when I wash it and I use like a hard enough brush, the paint just comes right off and all the runoff turns white and it's just whatever. Um, the other unfortunate part about that is with the little thin pieces of aluminum that cover the uh, structure of the roof, um, little pinholes can start to form and that will allow water into the roof and for these pop-ups in particular um, water in the roof is just a complete killer you can rebuild them it's just a major pain in the butt especially for what they're worth you're not gonna get your money back out of it so that being said I think the monster liner is a good way to go um, I do actually have the tub of my Jeep monster lined in blue um, so I really like this stuff, it's super easy to apply, and I do like that the textured, um, actually I got the gallon, blah, blah, blah. I got the gallon kit, and I do like how they include these rollers, and I think the texture on them is going to match what's on there originally, like what the pop-up looks like. This is the rollers. So it puts a really nice texture on the roof, and I think it's going to blend in and look completely OEM. Um, as much as I would like to go all black with the pop-up and doing all this paint work, um, believe it or not, it actually does retain a lot of heat in the summer, um, even when you have all those windows open. So I'm actually I'm going to continue with the white, just because it it does it. I think it actually does help with keeping it cooler in there. Um, maybe we can do some sort of cool color for the walls and stuff like that. But I do plan on painting the frame and I want to get new leaf springs maybe I can lift it that way so uh, we're gonna get into this um, obviously painting prep work is the key and I have a lot of prep work to do because all of these seals on the pop-up all of these seals like here and these corner guards these are all covered in silicone I'm gonna do my best to get rid of all of that and then I have to tape off this trim and I might just remove these guys all together. I might just remove the corner caps all together. I gotta take the awning off, so. Just gonna get started on that stuff. It's gonna be a long, tedious process because pulling silicone off is never a fun job. Okay, so day two of working on the pop-up. Uh, I got an early start this morning. Went for a three-quarter mile run with Yukon over there. That was good, that was at like 6 a.m. I made myself a breakfast and got myself uh, motivated to start peeling away at the silicone again. Um, I did run into an issue though, um, and it's an issue I knew of. I wasn't sure I was gonna tackle it now when, with this project, but no, the, the more I look at it, I might as well just do it now. So, I'll go show you that. So I was peeling the silicone off of this section here and I was going to just pull this off so I could scrape off the aluminum but it turns out this is all one big piece here this whole uh, it's like a, a U channel and it holds in like down here is weather stripping I don't know if that's gonna, that's not gonna work down here is weather stripping and then it holds in the uh, this like piece of foam here it's got something to like sit into and then there's screws that go in this way so I have all the screws out and I was just gonna yank this out and maybe replace it, but it's proven to be a little bit more difficult than that. 
I did get most of the silicone off of this section, so that's good. Um, this half of the roof is pretty much ready to go for paint, but I do think I want to tackle that before I paint it and seal it all up. So that's where I'm at. Um, I'm probably going to have to keep this thing inside so it doesn't get all wet and then just rot out again because there's no seals now. Okay, so I've made some significant process since the last clip. Um, that was actually a week ago, and I showed you guys the rot issue that I had here, and I have successfully removed the uh, construction here. It really, it's just a piece of foam sandwiched with Luon, and it was actually so rotted that I had to uh, just chip away at it with a screwdriver. But uh, now you can see, here's a good look at how it's, how it's done. And I actually have a piece of wood cut to uh, slip in there. So here is that piece of wood. It's just a uh, three-quarter utility board. And I coated it in an epoxy chassis paint and then some white Rust-Oleum. So when you look up there, uh, it kind of blends in. This is the part that you don't see at all because the uh, actual lift thing is over here. And then the canvas pulls out, so you'll never actually see this. So the way this works, you just slip it in there and it would end up fitting just like that. And this should be much more sturdy for all these screws that have to go into here, maybe even that. Um, it should be just a lot more structure in this corner rather than just going into Luon. And there is a couple little pieces of aluminum. I don't know if you can see that. There's little tiny aluminum strips, but I think the wood is gonna be much, much, much stronger. So, uh, I've actually put a lot more time into this thing and I got a lot of the uh, silicone off. We have all of this pretty much out, enough for me to paint it. Since I'm gonna be doing a bed liner, it's gonna be very forgiving. Got all this out. And the other biggest thing was that I got the center seal off. So there's a video already on YouTube of how to get the actual like white seal off. And then there's just a bunch of screws and this whole metal track just comes right out. What I didn't realize is that there's a rubber gasket looking thing all the way down the middle underneath that. So I did have to order that, but again, no big deal. Um, I had to scrape all this putty off the bottom side of the metal and as well as all the end caps. There's like a, they use like a, it's, it's like a tack. It's weird. It's just a pain in the butt to get off, but uh, that's done. All right, so here you can see the board is in its spot. And up in here, that's what it looks like. And the canvas pulls out this way anyway, so it doesn't offer any insulation value or aesthetic or anything, but I think it actually does look probably a little bit better. And it's gonna give some more structure for like these screw holes over here.
All right, so it ended up getting dark by the time we finished the paint. Um, so I didn't even get to see what it really looked like at the end of the night because we just used the flashlight to finish up the last bit of corners. And uh, so I'll show you the finished product now. See, there's not really a comparison of the color difference on the camera, but it really is a much brighter white color. Doesn't have any, uh, you know, ugly stuff on it. It's fresh and clean. Obviously, we got some leaves on here, but that's no big deal. This stuff will wash right off, and this paint should be a lot more durable when you're washing it because um, beforehand the original paint would just flake off of the aluminum um, just with a sponge so this should be a lot more durable for that should offer some more like dent protection as well another hard layer on the aluminum so that's pretty good we also went ahead and did the end caps here and again these are like really flimsy pieces but it just really cleaned up the whole thing because these were kind of yellowing a little bit really brightens up the whole uh, the whole deal next I gotta work on the wheels and the frame but that was a big project bolt the uh, track back on missing a couple screws somehow but uh, put some fresh silicone in all the joints so it's all nice and waterproof um, for the center seal here you can actually buy all these replacement parts on ColemanPapaParts.com so there's like a rubber gasket under here that seals these two pieces together. Bought a new one of those on Amazon. And then this white piece down the center you can get on Coleman pop-up parts. Super easy to do. And it really, again, cleans up the whole look of the thing. But finished product. And we did the rear as well. It just looks like, just it's just so much cleaner. It's a brighter white. It's not covered in old plastic that's cracking it's just it's bright and it just looks better so if you have any more questions you can let me know down there but uh i think that's going to wrap up this video so thank you guys so much for watching i got a lot of things planned and i'm actually filming a lot of other things as this went on um so stay tuned hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one